A long and uncertain wait finally came to an end for the Davison family on Wednesday morning. UWC Professor Sean Davison was convicted in November 2011 for the assisted suicide of his terminally ill elderly mother. He faced jail time but was finally released after serving a five-month house arrest sentence in New Zealand. Davison told waiting reporters at Cape Town International Airport he stood his ground to make it clear his actions were not criminal. I'm thrilled to be back, obviously. Today, being home with my family is my first day of freedom, really. Now I am a free man. <coughs> well, at the same time, while I did my sentence, I was always free in my heart because I knew I'd told the truth and I was not ashamed of helping my mother to die. So I've done my sentence, but I did not commit a crime. The forensics professor said he received a lot of support. Much of the letters I received, many of the letters, were from people who were in a similar situation to what I was in, who had terminally ill parents or grandparents. And to those people I say, I'm doing it for you now. I'm standing by my beliefs and I'm going to continue to campaign for a law change. Davison's wife, Rain Pan, said she was pleased the uncertainty had come to an end. It was horrible to live in the uncertainty that uh, what happened, what uh, would happen to Sean and um, um, the uncertainty of what sentence he will get. It's been a long time, uh, five months uh, home, uh, uh, sentence and then two months uh, before the trial and uh, three months when he was arrested the uh, previous year. So there's a total 10 months he's away from us. And this uh, little boy, he hardly know him. Dignity SA, the organization Davison founded, will now seek to bring a bill before parliament to legalize assisted dying in South Africa. My mother would be horrified to think that I helped her out of her suffering and ended up being punished for it. And this is what my mother chose. And it's tragic that the law makes me a criminal. But now I'm going to keep campaigning for law change. This is the beginning, day one of the campaign. Davison said he expected to return to work next week. Aletta Gardner, Eyewitness News, Cape Town.